So when most people define diminished ovarian reserve, they are talking about the numbers of eggs that women have um, in their reserve or for the remainder of their lifetime. And I explain to my patients that ovarian aging involves both a quality to the eggs that remain and the quantity of eggs that remain. And ovarian reserve typically refers to the quantity. So a woman's born with about two million eggs and by the time she goes through puberty, it's about 400,000 that she has. And so the one, biggest part of ovarian aging is really the patient's age. And so we see that fertility is best in the 20s and early 30s and not quite as good in the latter 30s and 40s. And so I tell patients that it's the quality of their eggs that trumps the quantity. But when we talk about diminished ovarian reserve, most often we're referring to the quantity that women have. There really isn't a test to determine the quality. It is mostly based on the patient's age. So I know that a 29-year-old has better quality eggs than a 39-year-old. A lot of people say, I want you to test for my ovarian reserve. And what they should understand is we're testing their numbers. And so common ways to test for ovarian reserve are anti-malarian hormone, blood test, antrophollicle count, which is an ultrasound. And I think the first test that was described were day three labs, day three follicle stimulating hormone and day three estradiol. That testing is a little more complex to get done and probably less sensitive than the AMH and the antrophollicle count. What do we do about ovarian reserve? Essentially, ovarian reserve falls under the category, or diminished ovarian reserve falls under the category of unexplained infertility. And I tell my patients that there are really only three options for treatment, some variations on those options, but try on your own, try the insemination type protocols, or go to in vitro fertilization. And the journey through those three is determined by the patient's age, any other factors they have, and their ovarian reserve.